Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, everybody. Now, you will note that Dustin is still nomming on goldfish and shit. Shut up, man. I even asked, are you ready this time? I said yes. <laughs> he's, our, he's our bourbon guy. Do you see how excited I am? Dude. I'm not excited. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah. I got a story. All right. Well, first of all, this is Keith. He's our music guy. I'm Dustin. I'm a bourbon, a bourbon guy. This is a rye. And a bribe from and, Stephen. And a rye bribe from the king of rye, Stephen. <laughs> uh, so this is why I'm excited about this one. Stephen has informed us. This is the better. This is better than the last found north that he sent us. That bar is extraordinarily high. It's so high that I tell everyone that I ever asked me anything about Rise of Bourbons that that is the best of its class. I would say that I, since having the Found North, I've had 20 people ask me what's the best rye available, and every time my answer has been Found North. If this is better than that, God damn. I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm excited. That's all I got to say. I'm excited. So, Stephen, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and it's on here. Song is Oak Ridge Boys by Bobby Sue. Figured I should send another bottle of your favorite rye. Steven. Well, all right. While, you, while you're working on that, let's fire up some Oak Ridge Boys. All right, see you. No, I will fucking shoot you. <laughs> God damn. So, could you picture this song in the end scene of Back to the Future on stage? Because it's got such a mix of like 50s, 60s, 70s stuff in it. Like, this could have been the song Marty McFly was playing rhythm guitar in, right? He was dancing off the stage. Yeah, before he went all crazy with the Van Halen-esque stuff. But yeah, yeah. I, I just like what, <laughs> but I was gonna say, it also struck me kind of as a, uh, um, what was the guy? Uh, what was the guy that did Vacation? Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Well, so it really has. So they took a very fifties rock theme like chuck berry or something like that and what you just made my couch fart quit it <laughs> it's him it was not <laughs> well go ahead i you lost me going to the bottle and couch farting <laughs> But anyway, it has a very 50s vibe to it. And I think it's an intentional throwback. What are you doing? Nothing. Go. <laughs> doing bourbon stuff. I'm a bourbon guy.
just turned 18, too. for this than mine is but i literally just picked up the background guitar that is doing some i mean he's running up and down scales in the background this whole song yeah and he's doing it in a 50s style it's good i i think the oak ridge i suspect this was from the 80s late 70s early 80s i was gonna say look at those collars those 80s collars those are 70s collars okay so, so 60s, 70s. I think it's closer to late 70s, right? Okay. They'll tell us. Yeah, tell us, Stephen. But I th- I'm really, even with the name Bobby Sue, mm-hmm. I think this is an intentional 50s throwback by them, and they're doing it really, really well. Really, really, really good. Yeah. Like, I was literally, bef- before you know, we stopped this, thinking... The diner. next the next song in the rotation needs to be some Beach Boys. Ba 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 or yeah. California Girls or any any Beach Boys song oh, Ruba, right after Jamaica. Not that one. <laughs> uh, any Beach Boys song almost. Yeah, uh, Kokomo's just right up the road. D- don't don't <laughs> please don't. Dude, I love the Beach Boys and I hate that fucking song with a passion. <laughs> I'm just picturing a 50s sock pop dance, right? Well, you were around, right? I love the baritone, man. It's entertaining. I think it's there for comedic effect. Steven, that was a fun tune. That was a good tune. Yeah. Definitely 50s throwback. Dude! This could have been in Super Troopers. Totally. Yeah, it would have fit into that soundtrack just fine. I was, Like, it just played through my, Like, this could be a fast driving song. It, it, yeah, but in a freaking 57 Bel Air. Right. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. This shit is hot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, so, hold on. So my first drink... Hold on. Yep. <laughs> my, my first drink, I took a normal size drink and was like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> this hurts and now I'm buzzing. <laughs> so, uh, it was your thing. What? Oh, yeah. Mm. Ow! It, it, this is an incredible rye. But it's hot. So, w- when you get a combination of a rye that is hot, the heat effect is turned up by the rye pepper. So, I'm going to have a hard time with the... Uh, Proofing? The, the, the proof game on this. Um... 80% corn. This wow, is a bourbon. so it's only 20% rye. Wait. No, it can't be a bourbon. Maybe no, it's Canada. made in Canada. A. Eh? Whoa. Okay, I'm going to read some stuff here. So, first of all. Before you do that. Chrissy. Before you read. Yeah. Take a tiny sip. 
It'll change your life. How fucking good is that? I'm going to say something controversial. What's that? Did you get candy corn? You know, I hate candy corn, but yeah, it's in there. And it's good. It tastes good, though. It's not, it's not, you don't get that waxy, like. Right. Yeah. The, the, it, the nauseating, waxy. Right. From, it is, this is amazing. Hmm. The tiny sip really changed the, the, all right, so you can read now. So this is Found North Cast Strength Whiskey. I'd say it's cast strength. Aged 18 years. This is older than my boy. To date. A re- origin, Canada. Canada. It's from the Canucks. Right? Oh, uh, grains, 80% corn. Okay. 10, no, I'm sorry, 19% rye. So that's reasonably high rye. And a 1% barley. Here's an interesting thing. Oh, well, additives, none. <laughs> As it should be. I think that's funny. That they put that on there. Maturation, which means what they what they aged it in. Yeah. Hungarian oak. Hungarian oak. In Canada. Eh? Where the f- Hungarian oak? That's what it says. Every release of Found North is a distinct batch of Canadian whiskey. We blended this whiskey to create big, complex flavors and bottled it at strength to preserve those flavors. All Found North whiskeys are natural color, non-chill filtered. For full details, go to their website. This is amazing. All right, so I'll try to break down the flavor profile for you. It's going to be a challenge because this is really complex and it's there's so much flavor it this it's gonna be hard to figure out i already told you with the tiny sip there's candy corn which means sugary caramels to me a little bit of cinnamon but that's light Mm mm-hmm The sweet caramels are very strong. The mid palate is like freaking apple pie. Cinnamon apple pie. Not the pie itself. Not the filling. Not the... You know the crust? Yes. Yes. That cinnamon crust that's on top of the apple pie? I totally get that. Yes. That's the mid. It's even a little flaky. Yeah. That's the mid. (laughs) Yeah. So it's like buttery even. Yeah. Yeah. The finish rolls back to, uh, there's still some cinnamon in there, but you can taste that oak. Yeah. Like it's there. And there's a sweetness on the finish I cannot name um, that mixes with the raw pepper burn that sets in in the finish. And I, I can't name that. Do me a favor. What's that? Try this. It's going to sound weird. Take some, trap it Mm -hmm. on your tongue, between your tongue and the roof of your mouth, and just kind of compress it. Let me see what happens there. (laughs) What'd you get? Nuclear cinnamon. <laughs> Boom. Uppercut. And it, it's like... Oh my God, and it draws me back to the glass. I just... This is... This would get me in a lot of trouble. I should probably just take it home. I don't know about that shit. <laughs> we, may, we may actually have to go buy decanters and split this one. That's actually a really good plan. This one's so good. That's I don't a, want a coin flip over it. I, Steven, 
You outdid yourself, my friend. Holy shit. Yeah, I... But it's not... I guess... It's, it's not a rye. It's not a rye. Right. Well, it's a high rye whiskey, though. Correct. That's a pretty high level of rye. True. Um, but it's not more than the corn, which means it can't be a rye. No, uh, I've seen... It's got to be 51% uh, rye to be a, a called a rye whiskey. I, I've seen lower than 50 called ryes by their manufacturers. They lied. Um, so, proof game. Yeah. Yeah. I had to math this because it's not on the... This, this is hot. Um, if you get a bottle of this, enjoy it in very tiny sips. Um, number one, the flavor's better that way. True. And number two, if you're gulping this stuff, you're going to get fucked up. You're going to get, and you're doing it wrong. You are. You're wasting I don't say it. that lightly. You, you drink bourbon the way you want to drink it, but this one is a little bit special. You savor this. Yeah. Um, I'm torn between going 125 and 130 proof. This stuff's pretty damn hot. Um, I think the rye pepper may be fooling me to go higher to 130. So I'm going to guess 125. You want to give me a little drum roll? 124.8. Dude. <laughs> and for all those who are playing along at home to check my math, it's 62.4 ABV. Yeah, it's 124.8. Yeah, 124.8, yep. I can still math. Oh, so good. Steven, this is this is a good... Yeah. Where are you getting this shit, dude? Right? <laughs> you need we to, can't find it. I've not seen it. So, if you want to, just let me know. Yep. Let, let him know where where the hell you find this, because, we, my God. We, hold on, wait. Distilled in Canada, bottled by Found North Whiskey, Dover, New Hampshire. Sounds like we're going to fucking New Hampshire. Sounds like we need to go to fucking New Hampshire, and who wants to go to New Hampshire? Not me until today. I don't... I think it's a bad time of the year to go to New Hampshire, don't you think? It will be soon. <laughs> All right. So, guys, if you enjoyed that one, outstanding bourbon. Thank you, Stephen. Really neat song. Yes. Like, wait. Yes. <laughs> you don't do that very well. No, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, drop down in the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to try. Um, and if you like, you can be similar to Stephen and send us a bottle. And it doesn't have to be a high-end bottle like this. We we like the bad ones. We like getting those Hold in. Hold on, wait. We do. We like getting the bad bottles. We do and like trying them. getting them, but I want to be clear. We do. This is also really good. <laughs> Just to be clear. We're we, okay with the good bottles too. We are. Uh, we want to review everything. That's right. So if you can, uh, if you want to propel your song into our List. bribe queue now, yeah. which goes ahead of the votes, uh, you know, feel free to send us a bottle and make sure you tell us what song goes with it. I'm going to throw two things in there. One, for all you voters out there, keep voting. We track it. We track it. Uh, but you have to understand, somebody went through the trouble of sending us bourbon. It's only fair. Uh, and the second thing is something we haven't said in a while about the bribes. If you've got something local to you that we can't get our, your hands on, those are our favorites. Yeah. Well. Like, like this. Like this. <laughs> we, we, did, we don't know where or how to get this. Right. So... Uh, and we definitely want more of it. I, f I feel like a bottle of this should always be on my shelf. This is some good shit. Yeah. So, hey, till next time, guys. See ya.